Hi everybody. I haven't used my Kawasaki for a while. The battery was completely dead. True, the battery was already bad when I bought the bike. No warranty. It had less than two miles on my Ninja when it didn't start. Of course I jumped the bike, and then it was fine. But it just died again and again every weekend. One weekend I had to jump it again to get it to start. But all the engine lights came up. I checked the code, I got 62. A few days later I got 27 and 62. I can't believe all the codes are coming up because the battery is dying. I actually know there's nothing wrong with the Ninja because it's brand new. I called the dealer to clear the code. But they don't do that. The Kawasaki dealer won't do it. He says he'll take the Ninja apart, check it over. And that's the only way he can fix it. I told him there was nothing wrong with the bike, but he won't clear the code. I told him to just do me a favor, clear the code, but he refused. I guess he wanted to rip me off for a couple hundred bucks. Anyway, I bought a $25 code reader in the local shop. And in five minutes I cleared the codes myself. Code 62 and 27 disappeared, and the fault indicator lights turned off. The operation is very simple. There is a transparent plug under the seat on the clutch side. You plug the code reader into it, and when you're sure you've found the right code, you delete it. At that moment the fault indicator light goes out, and the dashboard is working again. However, they suggest you bypass the plug behind the clutch lever. I solved this with a paper clip, but you can buy a bypass plug for $15 to $20. It's possible that if you don't do this, all the existing blinking fault indicator lights will come up on the display, and then you can actually go to the dealer to get it fixed. I don't know, but in any case, I put the plug on bypass. Yes, the oxygen sensor made this issue. I flashed the ECU. I took off the O2 sensor. However, it's annoying that if you don't use your Ninja for a while, or any Kawasaki. Some codes come up because the system doesn't store the input. Another is that you have to keep the Kawasaki on the charger. Of course you have to buy it separately. I made this video because I've seen a lot of people having similar problems. I left a description below the video. Check it out if you are interested. Thank you for watching the video.